Hey YouTubers, this is Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Wednesday, June 21st, 2023. And we have a vehicle that we're videoing for Craig in Georgia. And this is a Daihatsu. Uh, the stock number is D8595. It's a four-wheel drive, five-speed, with 28,339 miles. And it is $7,400. <clears throat> it's a pretty nice truck, too. And um, I've already looked at it and just finished doing a walk around video. And this video is in preparation for a long distance sale. In fact, I just did one also for that same reason. Um, and so, in the long distance sale, we try to take extra precautions to make sure that we have communicated uh, as effectively as possible. Because one thing we really wanna try to strive for is when I show up with the truck, your expectations are at least met, if not exceeded. And uh, we're so confident in this process. I mean, people must think we're crazy, but we don't even take payment for the truck until we show up. And, you know, we do take payment for the delivery fee which is two dollars per mile one way so if you're 200 miles away the delivery fee is four hundred dollars but we don't take payment for the truck until we get there and say here's the truck and we've got a hundred percent success rate a 100 percent successful track record where nobody has ever said oh that's not what i had in mind or oh i'm disappointed that's never happened because we do a very careful job to communicate every little scratch, every little ding, every little everything. And that way we are able to um, show up and have the customer say, yeah, that's pretty much what I was hoping to see. Or, wow, that's even nicer. So um, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So... The front of the truck, that's a scratch right there. A little road pebble, you know, hit it and, and, and surface rust. You know, just a little flash piece of surface rust because of a, a, a road pebble on the highway. That's what that is. Um, and, and, and this is dirt. The front of the truck is completely ding free meaning no dings no dents obviously if there's no dings there's no dents a ding is like a, a shopping cart rolled into your door panel and dinged it but this does not have any dings it does have very slight impression right there but the door is ding free other than that right there That feels really good right there. I was just checking this. It's got, I think, dirt there that almost makes it look like it's got a dent, but it doesn't. Um, the roof looks really good. Nice thing about Daihatsu is the antennas get buried in here really nicely. And, you know, so... It's a nice, safe hiding place for your antenna. And uh, so I say keep it like that unless you need it. Um, the bedside panel looks magnificent. Very, very nice. This is mud right here just from it being a rainy, wet day. The frame of the truck looks very nice. All you have is seam rust, and that's where they spot welded the, the things together where the weld might have some flash rust. Not a big deal. Let's look at the bottom of the bed. That looks really good under there. The tires look good. I mean, they're good. They're not fantastic. They're good. 
Let's look under the bed mat. Okay, so whoever had this truck in Japan put a board there so that if something comes sliding forward, it hits the board instead of your metal tab. That's what that, and they did a good job. I really like the job they did. They used metal straps, and I mean, it's secure. It doesn't rattle or anything. Let's look under here at our dirty bed. So the bed is in fantastic condition. It's just dirty. I mean, there is not a drop of rust whatsoever. There's Stephanie and Roger picking up mini trucks. UPS guy coming out. So the contest. UPS versus mini truck. UPS wins. <laughs> All right. So let's look at the back side of the bed. Again, just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and let's look at the uh, tailgate here. The tailgate does have, so I'm noticing some very, very slight dings. There, 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 there. I don't think I saw those earlier, but they're very slight. Um, you really need to know what to look for to see them, but they are there. The tailgate um, really looks pretty good. Now, look at your lenses. Your lenses look very nice. They've got a good luster to them. Looks good there. And um, what else? I guess this is how you put the tailgate down. And that way, you know, if you want a little extra bed length, you just let it down. And this has chains. And um, it has a nice mat. I really like the bed mat. All right, this bedside panel looks beautiful. It's got one ding right there, and it's slight. Again, good looking tire. Um, also, one thing that you look for to tell a really nice truck is this. When this is all crisp and good looking, there's the bottom of the bed again, looks really nice. But that's a telltale sign um, of a fresh truck is when the mud flaps look really good. Here's a ding right there. And a ding right there. And a little scratch right there. So yeah, really good looking. That on the battery box is mud from just from the road. Just a wet, nasty day. All right, interior. The door panel is in excellent condition. No damage. Same with that door panel over there. The seats look fantastic. No tears at all. Beautiful. And... That seat also looks really good. This is a five-speed truck as opposed to a four-speed. It's currently in four-wheel drive. Now it's in two-wheel drive. So you can see when I depress the button, that's it. That's how you put a S110P Daihatsu into four-wheel drive. That's two-wheel drive. That's all there is. That's your brake fluid. So... Everything looks really, really good. Let's look under the floor mat and see what it looks like under there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's what you really want to see right there. Let's try to snap that back on. There we go. And... Well, I can't get both snaps on there right now, and I don't 
spend five minutes on my video messing with that. So. All right, here we go. Starts right up. Sounds good. Now we're going to take it for a drive. Hmm. Owner's manual. Ooh, service records. That's a really good sign. Okay. So whoever had this was very conscientious. You can see they really were meticulous about the maintenance of this vehicle. I mean, they saved all of their maintenance receipts and 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 put them nice and neatly right there i would never be that person i'll just tell you right now i'm not that disciplined i kind of well you see my business i mean i've got mini trucks everywhere it's so disorganized but i still try to do the important things the right way but this person they are a poster child for what you're supposed to do. Um, so let's let's take a test drive here. Yeah, they really just absolutely nailed it with those maintenance records. And everything was stapled square. I mean, they were really OCD. Now, a Dahatsu does have an extremely tight turn radius. I would say Dahatsu probably gets the highest score for turn radius. I'm gonna go from third to fifth, just cause we're going downhill. And you can get away with that going downhill. And again, remember we're in two wheel drive because that's now in the out position, um, as opposed to four wheel drive. If it was in the in position, um, it would be uh it wouldn't be protruding like that that's how you know also there's a light on the dashboard which will show you that it's in four wheel drive so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go a little bit faster just to show you the top you know how it can go 60 miles per hour All right, here we go So that's 60 miles per hour. And, uh, you know, that just shows you how fast it can go comfortably. It felt great. I was going 100 kilometers. I think I showed that on the camera. Um, and there's that nice tight turn radius. Super nice. Let's do that again. Check this out. There's a Dahatsu. Super, super tight. I'm sitting here doing circles in the road. I mean, I'm going off the shoulder a little bit, but try that in a Ford Ranger. That's not going to happen. All right, here we go. Fourth gear. And we're going to go up a steep hill because that's going to show us how the truck does going up a hill. All right, now we're still in fifth gear and we're going 35 kilometers. Now we're going 32, 33 kilometers. And that is an arrestable offense. 40 kilometers in fifth gear going up a hill and we're, we're increasing, actually increasing in speed, which is pretty remarkable when you think about it because that was 18 or 20 miles per hour in fifth gear and climbing a hill and we're we're climbing a steep hill we're about to reach the crest 
and we're going 50 kilometers per hour. So we increased in speed actually, which is pretty darn remarkable. So that concludes our video. I appreciate you watching our video. You can reach us at 336-777-9957. Also, you can reach us at sales at maybury mini trucks.com. And our website is 